In this lesson, we're going to look at the midpoint of a line segment. So here is the formula in the formula booklet. Um, it is given in the x, y, and z plane, but I'm going to show you two examples. Um, one where we just look at the x, y plane, and then the next one with the with the z plane. It's fairly straightforward, um, but I just want to go through it and make sure you understand it. So let's look at this example. This is similar to our distance example. I want to find the midpoint between these the midpoint of the line segment joining these two points these two points so basically the midpoint somewhere here right now let's see if we can just kind of figure it out let's see if we can just kind of guess it well the midpoint will be halfway between here and here and then halfway between here and here and that's what this formula is it's x1 plus x2 divided by 2 it'll give us halfway between negative 1 and 4 and then it'll give us for the y coordinate halfway between 3 and 7 so I think I can actually just figure it out in my head halfway between negative 1 and 4 would be 1.5 because 1.5 plus 2.5 is 4 and 1.5 minus 2.5 is negative 1 and what's halfway between 3 and 7 well that's gonna be 5 so that's my that's my answer but let's apply the formula to um, make sure we understand how to do it. So the formula for the midpoint is x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2 and this equals in our situation negative 1 plus 4 so this is our x1 and this is our x2 so minus 1 negative 1 plus 4 all divided by 2 comma uh, 3 is y1 plus 7 all over 2 which gives me 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 and 3 plus 7 is 10 divided by 2 is 5 1.55 which is what I had fine so it's fairly straightforward um, in two dimensions in three dimensions it's not a whole lot more difficult to be honest uh, but it is important that we understand the x, y, and the z, and what the z actually means. So I'm going to do, the, the formula is x1 plus x2 over 2, comma, y1 plus y2 over 2, comma, z1 plus z2 over 2. In a bracket, now I just sub in all these things. Um, now before we do it, let's have a look at GeoGebra. Now, I've put in the two points here. So remember, you can go here to GeoGebra.org if you want to play around. I've put in my two points A, B. There's 3, negative 4, 1, and 5, 2, negative 4. And the, the, the x-axis is the red one, the y-axis is the green one, and then the z-axis, the one that comes straight up, is the blue one. So if I want to find the midpoint, well, GeoGebra has a nice feature here. I can just click midpoint and then it says select two points. So I'm going to select B and A and there it gives me the, the midpoint just like that. And it's negative 1, negative 1, negative 1 1.5. And look, you can actually, I just wanted you to see it, what it means in three dimensions. That's where it is. It's right between the two of them. Um, so please go on to GeoGebra and have a play around um, to try and understand coordinates in 3D. Now, let's go back to this. So it's a case of subbing in uh, the, the numbers that I have. So x1 is 3, so it's 3 minus 5 over 2, comma, negative 4 plus 2 over 2, that's my negative 4 plus 2 over 2, comma, 1 minus 4 over 2, I can already see this is 3 minus 5 is negative 2 over 2 is, is negative 1. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. And 1 minus 4 is negative 3 divided by 2 is negative 1.5, which is exactly what GeoGebra got, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1.5. Um, so that is how to get the midpoint in three dimensions and here in two dimensions and your formula booklet is nice or sorry your formula is nicely given in the formula booklet